All right, y'all, it's May 29th. We come in here two days ago and cut this clover plot that we got. This is a third year stand. Um, some of it's second year, some of it's third year. You can see the video. We've got a down of clover in here, white clover. Uh, we came in two days ago, cut it because it was gonna rain yesterday. It's still a little wet, but we're gonna try spraying it. We're gonna use a clethodim and a surfactant on it and try to kill all the grass out. The broad leaves really isn't the problem in this plot. It's mainly the grass. So we're gonna go in and try to kill out the grass because this third deer stand looks really, really good. So we're gonna spray it down. Me and Corey's gonna try to get it sprayed here in a couple of days. We'll come back and see uh, a couple weeks probably and see how it does. If it does good and it kills all the grass out, then we may not have to cut the clover anymore. Um, if it doesn't, then we may have to either come out and respray it again or we may have to get some uh, butyrac and kill out some broad leaves. But the broad leaves don't seem to be the problem. The grass seems to be the problem. So we're going to spray it down and see if we can't get this clover plot good and thick. Got it all sprayed. Hopefully this grass is gonna die down. If we can kill 80%, we'll be good. Uh, last year we didn't do this. We tried using mowing to keep it down and it didn't work. Our clover is extremely, extremely thick this year. Um, but so is the grass. So once we think, once we get that uh, grass killed, then uh, I think this clover will do even better. If it doesn't, then we may leave the super thick spots and till up next year and just start more but we should have done this the first year but we thought the mowing would take care of it but it didn't so we'll see how it goes All right, y'all, we are at one of my farms now. We sprayed Travis's plot yesterday. Um, this plot right here is just over a quarter of an acre. Uh, we use the same mixing ratio, three gallons of crop oil per gallon of water, or three ounces, I'm sorry, of crop oil per gallon of water, and one ounce of clethodim per gallon of water. Um, about done now, but this is the farm where Madison shot her last two bucks. And I shot that big non-typical last year we called Slingshot. So we're trying to get this clover plot looking good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can kill some deer off of it this year. All right, y'all, it is early June. Uh, last week, me and Travis sprayed his clover plot on his farm and one of my clover plots on one of my farms. Today we're back at, or, or I am at um, this plot right here. This is where I killed my biggest buck to date um, thus far. Last year, last year maybe? The year before last I came in here and spread alfalfa seed and clover seed and the clover has turned out immaculate. Um, the alfalfa is also coming up really well but um, on the majority of this plot, there's a lot of grasses coming up. So naturally, just like we did to the other plots, um, I'm here today, I'm gonna spray them. I'm gonna spray this one. Hopefully kill the majority of this grass and uh, 
have a beautiful alfalfa and clover plot to hunt over this fall. All right, we just got done doing a little golfing. It's been two weeks since we sprayed the plot at my farm with Clethodem to try to kill all the grass. Looks like it did a pretty good job. We just drove through there, so. But all the grass is dead. Um, the Johnson grass is pretty resilient. It's came back up. But for the most part, the clover has flourished through the whole entire thing, so. We got off this morning, we're here now. We're gonna put out some minerals at our mineral holes and we're actually gonna hang our first set of cameras. So we're excited to see what we've got on our farms this year. What is up? It has been, I think, two weeks since I sprayed this far. I'm not gonna lie, it looks immaculate. Um, I'm gonna say about the same as Travis's farm. We probably got, I'm gonna say here, a little more than Travis's. Travis's farm, we got about a 90% kill. I bet here we got um, 95, maybe 98%. I only see a few little little stubs of grass sticking out um but i'm super pleased with how the clethodon worked um i think our mixing rate was pretty much perfect there's still some broad leaves in here but i haven't mowed this plot yet again um and a lot of times you can get your broad leaves out with some mowing um but everything's looking good uh leading up to the season and uh i don't know i think we're gonna get some trail cameras out here in the near future um, I'm coming to check this stand and check this plot right now, but uh, everything's looking up. Should get some cameras out soon. Uh, get these plots mowed maybe one more time and see what happens. But... Okay, we're on this second farm here. Um, this one didn't turn out as hot. I didn't think it would just because I hadn't mowed this plot yet. Uh, and the other thing is that this plot's got a lot more broadleaf in it than the other two that we sprayed. Nonetheless, I mean, it's not terrible. Um, you kind of see these bigger clumps here of grass that uh, were coming up in the plot. They killed out. You see like all these spots are dead and whatnot, but apparently this strip right here down the middle, I, uh, Apparently, I just completely didn't spray it. That's what it looks like, at least. Because it's dead on that side, and it's dead on that side. So, that's my fault, I guess. Um, no big deal. I think we're going to come in here next weekend, or this coming weekend, and mow anyways. 
um, just to see what happens. And hopefully we can kind of bring this plot back. We've still got some chemical left over, so if nothing else, if we have to spray again, we will. Um, hopefully we don't have to do that. We can save that chemical for next year or whatever, but uh, yeah, Travis and I both were skeptical about this. Neither one of us had ever uh, used the clethodim before um, with the surfactant or any of that. Most of our stuff's just been straight roundup, kill it all, and replant it. So we were skeptical. Um, I mean, I think it goes without saying kind of that we're both pretty highly impressed with our uh, with our results. As long as you mix everything right, I guess, uh, everything turns out pretty good. We mixed our clethodim at one ounce of clethodim per gallon of water and three ounces of the crop oil or surfactant per gallon of water just to help it stick to um, the stuff you're actually trying to kill. And like I say, it did, uh, it did really well. So hopefully with a little bit of mowing, we can get this broadleaf out of here. Um, I think the other two plots are gonna be just fine. Probably won't mow them until August or so, uh, a month or so before season, but we don't have too long. September 4th here in Kentucky, so uh, hopefully, uh, Hopefully things keep looking up.